What's good, y'all? Welcome to a brand new chapter of uh, Comic React this time. Got issue four, Powers of X. So, I think this guy, we got Charles in the front, then you got Gene, Storm, I think that's Emma and her two kids, or just Emma three times. Beast, Wolverine, Magneto with some with a beard. Nice. Sabretooth, Nightcrawler. Uh, who else do I recognize in here? Uh, is that Cloak in the back? Huh. Anyway, let's jump right in. Pretty busy week this time. We got about seven issues, so yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised I end up having to record like a couple of them on Thursday. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, let's see what we got. For now. Let's see what's in store for us this week. Crazy stuff went out and let House of X last week, where everyone pretty much died. So I'm curious what's gonna happen here. Let's get focused on. If we got, looks like it might continue from where that left off, based off the cover book. Let us see. We shall see. There we go. I fear our need, our needs will will far will will fare out will far outlast our desires. We have many hard choices ahead of us, Professor X. All right. All right. It's credits. Next page. X Zero, X Men, the X Men Year One. Bar Sinner. Halt, strangers. Who's this? State your business. But please, but please, God, don't ask for a, for a help for a, for help or a handout because while well, yes we have much, we really can't be bothered with that sap with the sad problems of sad people. And oh look, you're wearing a cape. How perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing you don't have an appointment because who wears that having who wears that having the other? We do not have an appointment, but it's important. But it's important that we see Nathan Essex? Essex? I see his name? Hmm. Never heard that guy. Next page. Oh, that, oh hey, that's Mr. Sinister. Alright. Okay. Alright. Which one? There are many of us. We'll settle for the one in charge. The one in charge. Well, aren't you something? Yes, the outfit's ridiculous, but you don't. But you do. But you do have an air about you that's not. That's not denying. There's no denying that. Your friend, however, this just won't do. It won't. It will not play well at court. I, a sad little man in his sad pe peasant <laughs> peasant suit, stuck in his sad little. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, we need this man. <laughs> and Magneto just throws it to the crystals. <laughs> my man, my man, Magneto's a fucking G. Even though him and Charles are on opposite sides, peace out against you. My man, Charles, my man, Magneto ain't gonna ain't gonna let anyone talk shit about Charles. I love that about Magneto. It's like he's like, <laughs> it's like, bitch, please. <laughs> No, Charles. This man needs to decide if he wants to if he wants to escort us inside, or if he wants to continue to continue thusly and suffer and suffer the consequences. <laughs> oh, my man, Magneto. <laughs> Next page. Well, that worked. Two minutes later, Mr. Sinister, I present to you the mutants Magneto and Professor Charles Xavier. Okay, that's Mr. Sinister. Hello, thank you for ha hello, thank you for seeing us. We've come to stop. Before either of you say another word, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I love that cape. Amazing. Why? Why do I not have a cape? How do I not have a cape? It's a crime, sir. An outrage. Honestly, I've always thought you should wear one. Didn't he wear a cape? No. Wear. Well, if you really thought of that, why didn't you say something? It slipped my mind. Execute this man! <laughs> Execute this man! <laughs> why don't I have a cape? 
It's in my mind, sir. Execution! Send him to the gallows! <laughs> Next page. Oh, my lord. Oh! Oh! Now, how can I help you? Actually, it's our it's our hope that we can help one another, as we're as as we're as we uh, as we're aware of your ongoing endeavors in the area of genetics. And how would you know about that? Oh, we have our ways. Well, honestly, I'm not It's not surprised. Uh, well, honestly, I'm not surprised. Word is getting out. I do amazing work. Next page. We also know about we also know about the library you're building your attempt at at, at cataloging the whole the world's DNA. Don't judge. I can't be shamed to change you who I am. We don't want you to. What, what what we're suggesting is a slight deviation of focus. Continue with your board and in indexing if you want, but. We need you to prioritize making a comprehensive database of all mutant DNA, safe, secure, redu re re redundant. We can we can provide you with samples you might have trouble getting on your own, including ours. Well, I'm sure well, I am. Well, as I am. Well, as I'm sure even a, even a, even a surf would would comprehend. The point of one collecting is found in the value of one's collection. So explain to me. Why I would take such a special interest in the mutant gene. I have seen the future, and this causes this cause mutant dumb is yours. No, I think not. I played around with introdu with introducing that that um, that arbit Ar that Ar Br Ar Br Bradian gene into my superior genetic structure, and let me tell you. I, I didn't like the results, and I won't tolerate such. <clears throat> Next page. What happened? Did he get shot? Or did his head explode? What happened? But I will. Oh shit! Was that the real Mister Sinister? Psst, it's me, the Sinister with the mutant gene. And if and if you must know, my mutant power is overthrowing. It's so overthrowing tyrants and being absolutely fa fabulous. I can see that. So we're in this together. I love the ambition. I love every bit of it. So tell me, partners, what's ne what's next in our sinful secret co confederacy? First, you need to begin with you need you need to begin the good work, and then I need you to forget why you're why you're doing it, and that and that's where and that and that we were ever ever here. Until the day I tell you to rem I tell you to remember. Ooh. Oh man, John. So is he gonna like read? So he's gonna like you know read his mind and like mess with his memory and stuff. Oh great, reading. <laughs> <laughs> all right, white page text. Okay, the red diamond. All the best news and gospels from the bar sister. Sinister secret number one. He's trying to pretend that no one notices he is wearing red shoes. Is where rich is, but he's true. But this truly sinister, sinister, sinister isn't fall, fooling anyone. Sinister secret number two. And speaking of fashion, the Whisper Network has turned into a roar regarding the return of this trendy mutant who had who was cut who was cut down in in his prime. Well, will someone please tell this these mutants to stop wearing human clothes and join the state, the state, the state, the stamp. Stamp the stample stampled across their across the islands full of flowers to flower to the flower that that's the fullest. Sinister secret number three. Years ago, a de a, de a, de a deceased redhead pretended pretend pretender made a pact with the devil. When she passed on, most be most believe that any secret she she had went went with her went with her to the grave. Won't everyone won't everyone be surprised when they find out not only is this not true, but she's left behind a whole lot more than secrets. Sinister secret number four. While every sinister has been busy wondering how they might be affected by the current events, almost none, almost no one noticed 
what washed and what washed ashore. A word of advice to all things sinister. Don't embrace the rip don't embrace the river re riverly or there or there won't be anything for you to for you to celebrate. Sinister secrets Sinister Secrets Reveal Certain people are wondering why the why the tyrant dis tyrant dispelling sinister got his mutant gene God's mutant gene. And while the and while that really isn't an interesting story, whom the DNA originate belongs to is John Prawn Proud Star Thunderbird. Next page. Sinister Secret number five. He's the best thing there. He's the best. He's the best there is at what he does. I thought he was gonna say the best there is, the best there was, the best there will be. Oh, Bret Hart. <laughs> what he does, she's married with a kid. The husband knows exactly what's going on, but who is he to point? But who is he to point the finger? He's much too. He's he's up to much the same and more. Maybe this just. Maybe this is just the new norm. Normal on the mutant island. Okay. Sinister secret number six. Everyone believed that the that the plan of this pro of this pro pro. pro Gyrmia, Progerian mutant with secret sinister ties was was foiled, but little did the gifted ones know that the destroyed samples were switched out or switched out before him. Sinister secret number seven: the two brothers jumped out of the plane, and for the longest time until they, they, until he was discovered, many wondered if they were if there was a third. If we told you there was more, would you believe me? Probably not. Sinister secret number eight. For years, the fittest, the fifty, the fittest of all mutants has rounded, has, has routinely surrounded himself with a, with a particular number, a particular number of entourage. These hangers on a stick around for a while, until they are eventually replaced with newer, more exciting members. With m most people don't know if, don't know is that if the original members return, these pretenders would be dropped so fast their heads would would spin. Sinister secret number nine. They say they say the kids are all right, but all is not right in the in the par in paradise. This non couple this non couple couple has been apart for has been apart so long. Friends are are expecting that when they see each other uh, again, fireworks are going to are going to be are going to ensure ensue. Is the universe universe ready? Judging by how unprepared everyone was for what's happening happened so far, we kind of doubt it. Sister secrets revealed. We do we don't hear this word spoken often, so when we do, it's best to play attend the best to pay attention, because when you're when you when you square that so when you square that circle, what takes what took a long time to build can come crumbling down rather quickly. Inferno. Sinister secret number ten. Which brainwashing mutant sinister with brain which brainwashed mutant sinister was replaced long before a certain bald somebody knew about knew and he and has been in on the game for almost as long as the game was being played. Shh next page. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right, X one, X Men, the X Men months ago. I'm not going to lie, Professor. Who's this? I wish you told me we were on, we were taking a vacation. I would have packed a, I would have packed a bathing suit and it's probably some sunscreen. Oh, that though that the world would allow those like you and me some re, some repri some re respect respect re, repents repents whatever from the to from the to toils of of everyday life from the to toils of everyday life, Douglas. I'm sorry to say this is not a vacation. Next page. This is Carcoa. Is that Charles? Yeah, that's Charles. Are we ever? Are they ever going to explain how he's walking again? 
Oh, cool, the secret island where mutants come to die. Fantastic. This sounds like Attack on Titan. Excellent choice, sir. Is it wrong to expect more than sarcasm from someone who is mutant, whose mutant power is, understa is understanding and, dis and deciphering the, nu the nuances of any language? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's quite all right. These days, the, day the days of Karkoa being, an adver being our adversaries are long past. It took some effort to understand the island, but eventually I was able to, tele to telepathically make a connection. From there, the relationship between mutant, uh, between mutant Island and Mutant Man has grown. Next page. Come on, I want, I want, the, I want the two of you to meet. Here we are. Say hello, Douglas. All right, I guess we know where that tree was in, um, what we saw in uh, the Apocalypse timeline. Because I was like, wait, who is this old tree? Is that like Groot? <laughs> Alright. Ah. God damn it. Come on. There we go. Oh, hi there, big fella. Whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. No. Fr no. Fr fri no frication. No fricatives, which me makes sense. But the layer, the layering is dense more than I, more than I would normally expect. I'm picking it up, but I need more. Ask him something else, or how he's feeling, or whatever. How are you feeling today, my friend? I don't know. Come on. There we go. He says he he said he sat. Let me guess. The telepathic uh, the conversations you're having is a lot closer to empathetic 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 closer than actual language, right? I mean, yeah, you're talking, but not at but not at a complex new new nuanced level. Xavier, Xavier, friend, island friend, friends happy, friends make eat many years, that kind of thing. Yeah. Are you saying Garcoa isn't sad? No, he's definitely unhappy. It's just a bit more compl complicated, deeper than that. So what did he say? Next page. There we go. I'm sure I missed some of it, but we were, we were o Okara, the One Island, ancient, ancient before the world existed, but not yet old in the old in the way that they were. The Twilight Sword of the enemy tore the tore, tore the world as, asunder, and when and what was and what well, and what was one became two. Our, our Coco. Our Arco Arco Co? I'm probably saying that wrong. And Carcoa. And from the and from the cha the chasm and from the chasm between them, from whatever wicked from whatever wicked place that he came, the enemy poured into this world. Next page. Is that apocalypse? Come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's apocalypse. It's not for the man who was not a man, the first mutant, the warrior god in blue, the the world would never would have fallen. But using all his mighty power, he stood in the he stood in the gap. Pushed pushed Arco 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 through the chasm, set in forth. Set him, set him, set his four to sen sentinel, the sentinel of the land, that land, and, and sealed and sealed the chasm shut, never to be opened again. It was the thing that had ha that had to happen. It, it was, but Karkoa remained alone, uh, half not whole, for now and forever, or something like that. Next page.
lay dead. Man, it sure is beautiful here. I'm glad you like it. I was hoping that you wouldn't mind spending some time here. Time you're on your own. Ah, uh, Professor X has plans. I'm interested. It's, be it's better if I show you. Okay. What's that happen? What do you have in store for us, Charles? Ooh. Okay. All right. Was he like showing him everything? Well, that's a am ambigu am That's ambitious. What's worth do? What's what worth doing, isn't it? How long will it take? Hmm. Phonology. Phonology. I'm probably phonology. Syntax. I'm. I'll have. I'll have to build an, inter an interface. The ecosystem is unknown, so that'll be tricky. I don't know, months, maybe a year, if I'm terrible at this. How's that sound? Like you've got, like you've got a, uh, a bit of work ahead of you, young man. Best to, best get to it. Next page. So I'm guessing you just told him everything he plans to do with Karkoa and everything. Next page. Current Karkoian systems. Come on. There we go. Okay, Karkoa interface built by Douglas Rams, Ram, Ram, Ramsey Cipher. A translation program so that other mutants can interact with the island without needing Cipher to act as a go between. Transit, motoring, defense, observation, secondary, external systems, Overwatch, data, data analysis, Saga, Black Tom. Black Tom Cass Cassidy Trinity Beast. No, while there are, while there has been no actual evidence of a Carcoian, of a Carcoian slunk, some something something works existing, there are rumors of master sub subterranean laboratory where, where Forge is busy building biological machines that could possibly use to ma manage a mutant expansion to on the island. Next page. X-Men Year 1000. Okay, so we're going back to the future stuff. I am the first of Eldis and my seer self. And this, my seer self, we are ready for conversation. We hope for ascension. And Charles looking old here. Hello. We fl fl flanax, 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 care little for hope. Will you ascend? We have to try, don't we? Isn't that what's next? The idea of your of your great union existing just beyond our reach is something we cannot tolerate. Do it. Next page. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, shattered it. Okay, what's going on here? Next page. Well, am I? Well, am I in? Am I in there anywhere? Anywhere there? Anywhere there? In we Flanax am. You know the sequence, as I know the sequence between us, we two. Between us, we the only two. Okay. There, wa there was a city on the mountain, and behind the and behind it the stone. The sun shone, shone, sh shone, sh shone, 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 uh, shone brightly, and then too brightly as it expanded to cons to consume the city, the mountain, the world. Oh. Oh, hello. So, it worked. Next page. The hell's going on here? Come on. Come on. Okay. 
Ah. Yes, it worked. The question remains, yes, do you know this for this conversation, this conversation acceptable? Okay, so this dude's breaking apart. Looks like, okay, looks like they split in two. Await response, await answer. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Next page. What the hell is going on here, man? Alright, come on. There we go. I don't understand what just happened. The flat the fan the flan axe are the are the forerunners of the galactic empire that we believe has dom dominion over the entirety of the of the known universe. Of course, empire is inaccurate as we believe that ni that neither their actions nor desires are in any way impartial. It's just the only word that conveys the scale of what of what we're talking about. What do they want? It's not what they want. It's what it's it's what it's what they do. The Flanax have the ability to integrate any machine and any machine intelligence into their collective, which after a, pre a period of time, if that in intelligence is found useful, worthy, it will eventually ascend and be part of the greater collective uh, sub, 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 what? Sub, 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 subsumed into the entire, uh, into the empire. Jesus, I cannot talk today. Clearly, we no, we we not know they find us. You we 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 now know they find us useful, which should be celebrated. But here you are, not celebrating at all, not one bit. Next page. Everything everything always comes down to a question of cost, doesn't it? The problem that. That this method doesn't work with the biological with biological in entities. I want the guys to see. Okay, got a couple of them get sucked up. So the elder made made the elder made a host machine, an empty vessel, and copied himself over it, over it before the Flanax absorbed it. We just confirmed. We just confirmed he was in there somewhere. Foreboding, isn't it, librarian? That that they want us, not you. So you're so you're trying to trick them. No, we don't think there there are any tricking them. We just hope we found a way around the problem. Now we just wait we just wait to see if there is if they find it acceptable. Next page. Okay. I'm not afraid of what I'm of what I've done. Of what I've done, but I do fear what what, what it will cost. What 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 yeah, what it will one day cost, Professor X. Okay, looks like that's about the end of the issue. Let's see. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so... Hmm. 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 I'm a little conflicted with this issue. Because, for one, it was definitely not bad. Not bad, by it, but... Nothing really... Happened, though. It's... Hmm. Mm. This, this, this is the tricky thing about this. Mm. I would probably say that of all the issues from House of X and Powers of X we have gotten so far, out of the out of what? Which one's this one? Issue was this number four for Powers of X, right? And we've had about four of House of X, so about the eight issues we've gotten so far. This issue, well, the opening stuff with um, with uh, Magneto and uh, Charles was uh, down out, fantastic and amazing. I loved every second of that stuff with Magneto, you know, taking care of one of those, uh, one of the, um, uh, one of the sinister, uh, uh, Mr. Sinister clones or whatever the hell they are. But besides that, nothing else would happen. Like, like this whole stuff with the the end of the issue here between. 
uh, between the um, between the X Men one year one thousand was like uh, I'm assuming that's that really old guy's Charles. I'm assuming anyway. I don't think it might have been someone else though, because I know Charles you know went blue as well, which we saw a couple issues back. I think it was like the last issue of Powers of X. I just like that whole last section. I'm just like, okay, what is any of this? Like, what does any of this stuff mean? Like, what? Now we know that I believe the next one after this will be Powers of House of X issue five, and then from there we'll just go, and then from there we'll just House of X issue six, and then Powers of X or Powers of Ten issue six. It's just like it's hard because Larry mentioned before this issue was not bad, but nothing really happened outside the old. Like the rest of the issue is just set up, I guess. A lot of it is more like set up and background. From well, some of the other stuff, like we learned a little bit more about how Charles got started up Garcoa the way it ended up being the first issue of House of X. But that whole last section with these like these like old trend, like these like beings or whatever the hell they are, I was just reading it and, I'm just, and you can see and I was just reading them like okay, what is any of this? Like what does any of this mean? What is any of this? Like. Am I supposed to get something from this? What am I looking at? What am I reading? You know. So I would probably say this is probably the weakest of the issues, which isn't they're like saying which doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, it's still really good, but I ju it just felt meh. I don't know. It's it's it was a lot of setup, honestly, a lot of setup, especially whatever we have in the last issue for House of X. But then again, we, I think we can all agree House of X is without the superior of the two. Powers of X hasn't been bad. It's been actually been really good, but House of X, that's where it's at, man. So, mm, yeah. So overall, I would give this issue. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 because I mentioned before it was it was still good. It was still a good issue, but nothing really just happened. Except that whole last section with like you know the whole end with X Men Year 1000. I'm just like, what is any of this? Like, who are these guys? What is this? Thing, what is Charles trying to do? This thing about sentient and everything. I'm just like, eh, I mean, now grand next up is House of Powers X, which will probably get a lot more answers and probably a lot more will happen to that issue. I'm assuming. That's at least what I'm assuming. So yeah, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like. So yeah, overall good issue, but yeah, you know, eh, definitely the weakest out of the bunch we've gotten so far. But uh, let's hope that's. I'm, I'm assuming you no know, next issue for Powers or Powers of X next week. Or powers of 10 on, excuse me, powers of 10. We'll probably be a lot better, we'll probably get a lot more answers on what the hell is going on, what any of this means, because this was just a lot more <laughs> exposition stuff. Like, besides the opening with Magneto and Charles with Mr. Sitch, that's so fantastic, man. I loved it. But yeah, I'm going to end here, guys. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, and Twitter, if you like it, links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.